In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step process to fully set up a Wi-Fi panoramic spy camera. For this setup, we will be needing, of course, the Wi-Fi panoramic spy camera. We will also need a source of Wi-Fi and then a mobile phone on which we will view the camera. I have here a 3D panoramic camera. When you open the package, here is how the camera looks. It is a secret camera which acts and looks like a light bulb, but it is indeed a camera. The camera lens is placed in this black portion you see here. There is also a memory card slot here into which you can place a memory card for storing video that is captured by the camera. The base here is where it takes its power supply through, just exactly like a light bulb. It uses a direct power supply that is 110 to 220 volts, which is the normal power range for a light bulb and other electrical appliances. The package comes with a holder into which the bulb sits. It is a normal holder into which light bulbs sit. So if you already have a lamp holder placed at the location that you wish to fix this camera, the camera can sit into that holder without necessarily using this particular holder. I already have my holder fixed in place, ready for my camera. I also have my router as a source of my Wi-Fi also ready. And of course, the camera is also ready. So I'll just screw the camera into the holder family. Before you power on the camera, you will need to go onto the phone and download and install the camera app, which is the V380 Pro app. So from Play Store, we'll download and install V380 Pro. After the installation process, when you open the app for the first time, you will be required to grant various access permissions and then create an account using your email address. So let me try and go through that process. Skip this one. My region is Africa. I will enter my email address benedict.boglovo at gmail.com. Next. A verification code has been sent to my email. So I'll go back to the email and check for that code. So I'll go into my Gmail. I can see the email from V380 there and the code is 402037. So I'll just go back and put it into the portion created for that code. 402037. Next. I will now set a password on the app. I'll just make it A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Enter the same thing here again. Confirm. Registration successful as you can see the message. Now we are ready to add the camera. 
So you will have to ensure your router is on or your source of Wi-Fi is on. And then you turn on the power to the camera. You can see that a light just flashed. That is an indication that the camera has been powered on. You will then hear a first voice prompt from the camera that will be saying system is starting. After a few minutes, you will hear a third voice that will be prompting you from the camera and it will be saying access point ready. Once the access point is ready, you can just go back onto the phone. From here, we can just tap on the ad, either the one at the top or the one at the middle here. This now requires that we scan the QR code on the camera in order to pick the camera details. So I'll just point to the QR code on the camera. It says allow V380 Pro to assess this device location. I will allow it. Now I'll have to choose the name of my router, which is the first one here. And then I'll enter my Wi-Fi password. Now we have to connect to the access point of the camera. And there is an instruction here that we need to follow. And it says that please connect to the Wi-Fi network starting with MV62542620. And then return to the app. What this means is that the MV62542620 is the name or the access point name of my camera. And so let's connect to it. You can see it here. So I will select it. It is connecting. There is another instruction here. I'll choose always connect. So you can see that my phone is now connected to the MV62542620, which is the, the camera or my camera that I'm using. So we'll have to go back into the app. And so we'll tap at the top here. Go back again. And then exit. So we are back into the V380 Pro app again. Currently, the phone is establishing connection to the camera, as you can see here. That has been completed. We now have to name the camera based on where it is located for reference purposes. So that if, for instance, the camera is placed in the kitchen, you can choose kitchen or any location that the camera is placed. You can just name it accordingly. I will just choose office and tap finish. Now it is almost ready. There is a warning here. Please set a password to your device for better privacy. So we will tap on set password. I will still assign A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five, six here. Enter it here again to confirm it. Confirm. Now our camera is ready. You can just tap the play button to see the live pictures. You can see the live pictures now. The processes seem a bit lengthy, but you realize that one leads to the other. So by the time you start, it will guide you through to the end of the full process. Please let me hear from you if you have any questions on any area that you wish I should clarify. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.